You betcha, I'm George, and today we're going to be talking about interpupillary distance. Now, this is going to be my second video on how to measure uh, your IPD, basically. This uh, video is basically for VR, uh, Oculus Quest, mainly. Uh, MetaQuest, MetaQuest 2, sorry, now. <laughs> so I made a, first, a video, and it got 20,000 views. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't even have 1,000 subscribers. A year ago... And I'm going on my third year, so I figured I might as well make an updated video to better explain to you guys more fluently how to measure IPD. And I'll put a link to the original video if you want to see it before. So the reason uh, IPD is important is because uh, incorrect IPD can cause motion sickness, eye fatigue, uh, dizziness, eye dryness, and much more. Mainly when you use VR headsets, binoculars, anything that has two lenses that need to be aligned to your distance of your eyes. And the interpupillary distance is the very center of your eyeball that the measurement is taken from. So there are basically three ways that you can measure IPD. The most accurate way would be to just ask your optometrist or your eye doctor. They can give you the most accurate reading. Another way is an eye app one called i think I believe it's eye measure that you can measure your eye but i haven't had the best luck it seems like it's off a few, couple of millimeters so i wouldn't recommend that one but i would recommend what you can do at home is use a ruler and i will show you guys how to do that right now so basically let me take my glasses off what you're going to want to do is measure up so take the millimeters you can see this is millimeters on here uh I'll take that and I'll put that under this eye. I actually need my glasses because I can't see. <laughs> you, what you're going to want it as close to your eye as possible, just so you know, because I had a little bit of problem. I think I was a little bit off my first video when I measured because I think I had it too far away. So let's say right there, if you can see that. That looks about to be the middle. So you want to close the other eye and line it up on zero. That's the first step, all right? Make sure it's on your nose and make sure it doesn't move when you're closing your eyes and opening the other one. Then you open your other eye and you look where it's at. And mine's about 63. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, it's pretty uh, simple and quick. Like I said, uh, close one eye, open the other. Make sure it doesn't move when you're opening and closing your eye. I'd recommend taking off your glasses. Uh, I just didn't hear because... <laughs> I'm too blind to see this far away. So it's pretty simple and quick to actually measure it yourself as long as you have a ruler laying around the house. I'd make sure I do it a few times. So the Quest 2 actually has three different settings for IPD and it's uh, mechanical and hardware. So it's there's 58. Let me actually grab my Quest 2 right here. It's uh, 58 is the closest millimeters, then you have 63, and then you have 68 millimeters. So depending on your range, uh, you can adjust it to what's clearest. And now I, what I would recommend is I, so I measured 67, so I thought I should have the widest one. But then I actually moved it to the middle one, and I got like a more of a 3D effect, and it was more clear. So that's what I used, and I would recommend, you. that's also a, Another way you can figure out which one to use is just by trial and error, what works best for you. So the thing about the original Quest versus the Quest 2 is really nice that you can change it completely, every single millimeter, rather than just being set to 3. So it's kind of sucks that they changed that, but at least it's still mechanical and hardware, unlike the Rift S. The Rift S, they did it, and I think the original Rift 2, they did it in software. So if your IBD was kind of outside the normal range, then it wouldn't really work for you, and then you'd kind of have these negative effects from the IPD. So now let's go to the official MetaQuest website and see what they have to say about IPD. They talk about two terms, uh, IPD and lens plate, lens spacing which is just the difference between the lens that you want to line up with your IPD. Um, they talk about 
okay, the optometrist, which is the most accurate, uh, using a ruler in front of the mirror, which is I kind of just showed you guys. Um, and then they say the range for the Quest 2 is the smallest is 61 millimeters or smaller. You should use that one. If you're 61 millimeters to 66 millimeters, you should use the middle one. And 66 millimeters or larger, you should use the widest, widest one. And it looks like they also say that these are only suggestions and use what makes the lens clearest. So this is kind of what I've talked about. And I kind of, I prepared this without looking at the MetaQuest website. So I think I gave you guys a pretty good overview of how to uh, measure your own IPD. So thank you guys for two great years of YouTube. This is actually going to be on my third year. And if this video helped you at all, please consider subscribing. It would uh, help me so much and I would appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You can also leave a comment and a like below. I also make lots of gaming videos and walkthroughs. I try to play as much of VR games as possible. I can't play all of them, but I try to put them on there for you guys if you'd like to watch them. And until next time, I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.